Where is it? Right there. There you go. When I think about STEM, I think about the separate disciplines within STEM, the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. But I also think about the skills that someone learns who's learning STEM. So I'm going to pour this in. I got the whole pot. Now she's good. Is this hot enough? Yeah. I love it. I really enjoy learning like new ways why things work and it's very interesting to like walk outside and like see like it rain and be like, oh, I know I why know. that happens. Yeah, exactly. Or, like, STEM is a driver for innovation. It gets people thinking creatively. It's a problem solving cluster of disciplines. And I think that makes it particularly important in our society now where the problems tend to be complex. They require multidisciplinary perspectives. I sort of agree with Caroline on that the bees don't know. They also think they must have some way to get a bit higher chance. Yes. Well, maybe that. I kind, I kind of agree with you. I kind of disagree with you. But the thing is, I don't think the bees are really smart enough <laughs> to do that. The first opportunity was available through the Talk Science, um, which was about six years ago now. And I signed up because I thought that sounded really interesting. I fell in love with the style immediately. I took a study group back to my own school and had tremendous buy-in. All of the teachers really liked the methods that we were discussing through the productive talk and the talk science. I really like when we talk because I learn the most from talking because it's a group of people putting together ideas to make one big idea and then people add on to that to make an even bigger idea and then you sort of get what you're talking about and understand more of about the subject. It's been a culture change for us here at our school. We now have students participating in productive talk, not just in science but in all content areas and are very comfortable with that kind of discussion. So I have this because this is going to launch. What is, what is this? That's the catapult. Okay. The Rise Center is a STEM education research center. We are interdisciplinary, uh, so it's a, a center that brings together people from across disciplines who do education research, um, investigating, teaching, and learning at all levels. I think we should put this in the microwave for a little bit longer. We work with both K-12 teachers and university faculty to make improvements on a day-to-day -day basis in terms of teaching practices and how can we make sure that students are learning what we want them to be learned. There's always new stuff to learn and it's that drive to kind of learn it, pick it up that I think our teachers have and we can we can help them with that. So you take the native one to the power of This is such a comprehensive university. It's an amazing resource to the state and I think we're really a convener and a connector for people in the state. And then when I got involved, it was like, whoa, hold on, I didn't know that. Those are all individual cells. And the professional development they were providing made me a better teacher. Um, not that I was teaching it wrong, but it gave me a deeper understanding of the concepts because I didn't have uh, physics in college. Um, that wasn't part of my track. Whoa. And now doing professional development by a, a physics professor gave me a better understanding. It showed how energy really works in your life and how instead of just like reading out of a textbook we're just we're actually seeing like energy like actually pushing something and making it like work. Science is amazing because it really provides this window into the world. I mean for, for some of us it's a lens to the world that really is exciting. Weird. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> and then providing teachers and kids with tools so that they can actually systematically investigate those things and say, okay, let's turn that into a researchable question. Let's turn that into a question we can use science to answer. Okay, now passing on the back of the bear is a yellow box. The world of education is totally different than when I started. The kids are so technology oriented. What's the next level? And so the next level is virtual reality. and. It's just a whole different way to 
present ideas and concepts to students. It's definitely better to see um, it in hand waiver because you can like literally like get into like the sphere. You can see what's happening. I'm a hands-on learner myself, so that kind of stuff is extremely, it's applicable to how, I, how I'm able to learn the best. It's hard to see on a piece of paper because the paper's 2D, but once you get out in the virtual reality where everything's 3D, it's just the space, you it's just a completely different understanding of it now. Okay, I'm Their first language is through technology, so we need to appeal to that. If we're still in our textbooks, we're, we, we're missing the boat. I'm gonna glue these down, I think, and then make a 3D print. Oh, in between those, yeah, yeah instead of across the whole thing, because you're gonna draw that, right? The idea of community in a rural area, I think has been so valuable to these teachers. Oh! I got to talk to other teachers and discuss, and I just, it was the greatest thing ever. Um, I was like, oh, you tried that, that didn't work. Okay, that's so great to know. Or, oh, that's a really great idea. Or, what, you wanna know what I did? You know, like, that never happens because I'm the only or science teacher here. So, um, so it was really, it was a really great experience. I call some of these people good friends now. Um, just because we spent so much time together working at the Rise Center and developing lessons together and sharing lessons and emailing and FaceTime and everything else to help support each other, something that was not there before. The power of when teachers get together and talk about things and have ideas and how that is really, that's the thing that affects the most change on a school. And um, when that happens, it's pretty amazing. It's just really fun watching the students get excited about what they're doing. Like you go visit these classrooms and the students can't wait to tell you about what they're learning that day. And oftentimes the students are really running the show. They know what they're doing next and they can tell you all about the lesson they just did that day. And you just go and ask them and they talk to you like, you know, adults. And it's pretty neat to watch that happen. The state needs students who have strong STEM backgrounds. And we're only gonna get there if we support teachers in those fields. That it is fun, it is not boring. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's like a dry moment and I think it shows how fun science can be. It can, it's not just like one note, it's more of like an adventure. I will do anything that the Rise Center <laughs> offers. I am a lifer for the Rise Center. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I'm sort of anxiously awaiting the next thing.